This is my attempt to summon Crash for Smash. Rutabaga, Rutabaga, Rutabaga. Let's do this. After almost 20 years, a new Crash game, Crash 4. I don't know what they were doing since Crash 3. None of the others happened. They've just been sitting on this property doing nothing with it. But there's there's a silent Activision? How come there's no noise? Uh... I hear, I hear the friends noise, where's the game audio? There it is, okay. Uh, it will play in Brazilian Portuguese. Okay, what's going on? Sign into my Nintendo account? Uh, okay. Is there online play? Do I need to do this? Hold on. Well, that was bizarre. It had the, the opening splash screens that were just silent. Hello, Darian. Details on Sir. Oh, okay. Whatever. Activision wants my credit cards. There, uh, okay. Well, only two minutes in, we finally get some music. Just read all 20 pages of this. I'm a speed reader. Uh, I, didn't I? Activision. I don't... Do I need an Activision account? I don't care. Maybe later. for the stream saying Bandicoot Battle. One to four players. Is that... Is there a fake Coco now? Excuse me? Okay. Well, this is multiplayer. I don't need to worry about that, but... I considered typing wah. Hello, Jeer. So this is the this is the Switch version of the game, which supposedly does not look quite as nice as the others. But I'm not I'm not picky about that. I would have bought the Steam version, except there is no Steam version. Crash Bandicoot! At last, I, the Great Neo Cortex, have you right where I want you. And now the final blow. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen this. Where have I seen this? Face it, Entropy. It's going to Was this shown in promotional again. stuff? At least Uka Uka and I attempt to free us from this prison. Maybe I watched a YouTuber do just the very beginning of this game. For I think decade. Achievement Hunter did a short video on it. Shoo. <laughs> So, uh, Uka Uka is confirmed to be on par with Super Boo. 
If he tries hard enough, he can tear open holes in reality. He served his purpose. <laughs> A great power has awoken. Crash? I fear it portends an event of reality shattering proportions. I feel it emanating from insanity peak. Quickly, we must go! Crash! 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 Oh, he's got that weird voice that's halfway between, like, the... the Crash 1 cutscene crash and the... Whoa! moment to check levels because I might as well. It sounds good though. I think we're good on levels. I cannot dead in the water. He's got a lot more stuff than uh, when he first washed up here. Hey look he's got a little he's got a spiro oh well, he had a spiro floaty. Stuff did they put? How much did they make everything interactable in this intro area? You can just destroy Crash's stuff. A mad god has taken control of Crash and forced him to destroy his house. Okay, so I'm starting with the double jump. Slide works the same. I think maybe I can act out of it a little bit sooner. ZL is HUD. Is triangle HUD? Triangle is not HUD. Pumbaa's back. Oh, there is an indicator underneath you. I just noticed that. Oh. He feels a little bit slippery, but that might just be the that just might be the pro controller I'm using. I would use the I could switch to the GameCube controller, but then I would not have access to my HUD. What else does the GameCube not have? It has all the other buttons. Crash! Quickly! We must go! Oh, well, hold on, I'm getting stuff. Aren't the gems important? <laughs> Wait, why was I thought he was angry. Now he's happy? TNT. switch between the the analog stick and the d-pad and crash games depending on the area the procon d-pad doesn't feel great though I might have some trouble with that 
Okay. Here we have a new section. In the same level. I like sections like these. I got a gem or a crystal? That was the get something noise. Okay. So there are tribals that no longer look like the native fellas in Crash 1. These are just random blue tiki, tiki fellas. So far, it is just crash by the numbers. It's just a uh, crash, but more. But that's what you'd expect from level one. What was... Okay, I got another gem. So, okay, I just noticed the meter up in the top, le top left. I get three gems depending on how much... How many of the boxes I get? have the super spin. Also, the double jump is more... It's still kind of the crash double jump, but he doesn't lose as much horizontal momentum as he did in Crash 3 and Wrath of Cortex. I was gonna say, a crash got into Smash. I wonder if his double jump would be similar to his home series, where he would just lose that horizontal momentum. For the sake of making him, uh, feel like himself. Oh, we get Painter Coco. Gems unlock skins, earn gems by breaking crates, getting Wumpa, finding hidden gems, and beating levels in three lives or less. Getting Wumpa. So I missed a hidden gem. Okay, why, Okay, so there's even a finite number of Wumpa fruit to collect now. Now, is there going to be a warp room, I wonder? Or some equivalent? I'm going in blind to this. I've not watched playthroughs. I haven't. I watched that one Achievement Hunter video, and that's pretty much all I've seen of the game before now. You know what? I am going to try this level with my GameCube controller and see how that goes any different. I don't actually love the Pro-Con. It's fine. It's serviceable. Maybe I'll 100% this. I haven't decided yet. I guess it'll depend on... how far I get the first time through. Pass and play. What is that? Take turns to complete levels. Pass the controller on death at checkpoints. Or, oh, there's like... Uh, well, that's an unnecessary but interesting thing to opt to include. There's an automatic, like, uh, take turns mode for multiplayer. Ooh, 
Ooh, here we go. Show HUD. Regular L. Mask power special. Primary, secondary. Alright. YX. I guess I'll, I'll worry about those when uh, I'm, I'm back to... When I know what they are. I haven't got no mask powers yet. Good on them, including remappable controls, though. I'm happy about that. Not enough games do that. Even now. Oh, uh-oh. Well. Sorry. That's immediately a problem. Jump. A. Primary? Is that the spin? I, I, yeah, I think that's the spin. Secondary X. I have, I have to set this up for a GameCube controller now. Alright, that'll work. Wait, show HUD. No, that's supposed to be regular L. There you go. What? No, it didn't. Why didn't it save? Jump. A. Primary. B. Secondary. X. There we go. All right. I have never played Crash on a GameCube controller before. It's a little weird. But, it works. Actually, this feels better than the Pro Controller did, so I'll probably just stick to this. I've been told that there are uh, many dick crates in this game, so I am keeping my eye out on gems, just various collectibles that are well hidden. Oh. I really have to... I have to now get in the habit of collecting fruit. Because that's not a habit that I'm in for Crash. Because fruit hasn't mattered before this game. There's, there's ghost hands? company whose motto was challenge everything. EA. EA games. Dick everything. Oh, that also means I gotta... It just occurred to me. 
because Wumpa Fruit now matter, I need to uh, actually attempt to get the fruit from those crates that are near TNT. In previous Crash games, I would just set off the TNT to get the crates, because the crates are all that matter. Man, I even- I have the shadow circle and everything. Super spin, and I don't. Do I have to get all the gems in one go, I guess is my question. Like, if I get everything except the death gems this time, can I come back and just do the... Can I now just beat the level without dying three times and get the final gem and then I'll have them all? Two and we already have a run from thing level. Oh, no, I need that. I keep I keep thinking I have the spin helicopter thing. I'm not used to having a double jump and not that. It, it was so integral, you always use them together in Crash 3. And Wrath of Cortex. It's hard. it's hard. It's really hard to get all the Wumpas on a level like this. Challenge mode. Let's play with the GameCube D-pad. Oh, this is bad. This is awful. I hate this. And yet, this will be the time that I clear it. Nope. I should do a slide there. That's what I should do. No, I didn't even consider the controller situation when I chose a version of the game. Like, what's the... What's the PC version on? It's on the Blizzard Store thing. Did that... Did it get that? Oh, I hope it got that. I hope it's like the previous games. And, and the, the thing chasing you can smash the crates. What's my HUD? HUD is L. I need to test this. 
Okay, good. Oh, so I unlock skins by getting all the gems on a level. Quantum masks have returned. Quantum. Hey, Aku, how's it is that a quantum Invader ring? Zim is here. It appears to be a door between dimensions. Yes, yes, the kind we keep shut. We have to go through, find my siblings, and fix this before some putz with a big evil plan and a bigger ego does something monumentally stupid. Uh. <laughs> Uka Uka unknowingly paved the way for our bright future. Once my rift generator is complete, dominion over all of time and space will be within our grasp. Engine Embryo, you had some little projects you wanted to tell me about? Master, my mechanical marvel will hypnotize you and I. And my potion will make me and them unstoppable. Right, you're fine, sure. Have fun with your ray guns or whatever. Ah. Hasten your steps. Okay, so these are our moves our now. Are already moving against us. And Brio is working with Cortex again. Prevail. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. We're not just retconning all the other Crash games, we're retconning the original trilogy. Crash 2 never happened. So, Cortex and Entropy were able to survive as babies long enough to grow into adults and then get back to the present. Figure that out. Maybe, maybe Uka Uka raised them as his own. Maybe there's a dramatic story that we're not getting. Welcome to the Dimensional Map. Here you can select levels to play, switch between Crash and Coco, change skins, and replay levels to take on time trials. Excellent! Okay. So it's more like Crash 1, in that we have like a kind of level select screen. So I missed a hidden gem on the other one, and I missed the... Okay, I guess I won't worry about skins until I... Uh, the... We'll come to a level where I'll get all six the first time through. I've come close the first two. Uh, let's go, let's take Coco to Borderlands World. Oh, this is a Crash skin. The first two were Coco skins. Here's Time Trials 2. It'd be nice to have a game that I could play off-stream, so it's always possible. I might do some of the completion stuff off-stream. Like time trials. So, we need the other masks to close the rifts? Correct. Now, my brother Akano is around here somewhere. Welcome to the show, Behold the aforementioned putts. Don't worry. We have a thing where we fight, he loses. It's a well-established dynamic. Not this time. Ah, the backstage class for you to get up close and okay. It's very cartoony and comical, and Coco has one-liners and singers.
It's fine. It's just the thing I liked about the original Crash was uh, mainly the, the non-spoken stuff. Zim goes rutabaga. Would you believe I forgot I had a double jump? Also, it'd be nice if it only counted deaths after you got a checkpoint. But it doesn't look like it's doing that. Got two deaths on there. See, now I gotta go through that to reset the death counter, even though I'm starting from exactly the same place with exactly the same crates and everything. So that's not great, but it's okay. It's not a killer. Mmm, that loading. So we need the other. Oh, I can, uh, I can just like phase into them. I can destroy the crates with my body. I don't care about the mechanic or anything, it just... It makes sense to not count the deaths yet because I'm still starting from the beginning. Like, I might as well just exit and re-enter the level and get back to zero deaths. But forcing the player to do that is just forcing the player to do busy work. now. Boy, that's got to be something I got to be careful not to phase into. I wonder if I can spin them. I don't necessarily want to try. Oh! I wasn't thinking. I'm gonna go for it. I missed. I've been able to spin attack sharks in previous crash games. Nope. You cannot spin attack those. The important thing is that we learned.
it, it, it doesn't show the countdown when it's like phased into the when it's in the other section oh boy okay we're fine we got it anything up there I don't see it. I see rails. I also see something way up there. Worth a shot. I've got to be careful to get all of these things individually, not just use the dynamite to blow everything up. Maybe. Maybe I can just blow those up with the dynamite. Having to collect the Wumpas makes this a, a much slower game. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, I can do that, but... wary. I was wary it was gonna it was gonna cover something up and make it inaccessible if I hit that. That's usually what the crash games do. Oh I missed one. Take me. Caught it just as I went past. What do I use on PC? I use a Xbox One controller. Maybe that would have been a little bit better for this. a swing oh, that's fucking that's brutal I just act like it's a slapstick like whoops I hit that flat sign no she got impaled swing now. Oh! It's only brief. No, take me. End it. I'm gonna get them all. Oh, I just saw that up there. Hello. 
Go ahead and grab that. I guess the double jump was just considered too standard for uh, platforming games these days. To not include it at base. I wonder what mechanics a Spyro 4 could have. Alright, and swing! No! Man! These kind of rail sections are something you would see in, like, uh, Wrath of Cortex. The original trilogy didn't have a lot of things like this. It's just the nature of that kind of, uh, that kind of section that it's one and done. There's no going back to get things again. Unlike Ratchet, Ratchet did rail sections nicely in that, uh, they would always loop back around, so you could go back over them if you needed to. Alright, here we go. I, that one blended in. That poor creature get impaled on the wall. Indeed, she did. Murder face, you gotta check out this game. It's brutal. Ah, oh, isn't this that Bandicoot Kids thing on the on the GameCube or whatever? I just, I jumped right off. You know what this game doesn't have? It, do, it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have like a baby mode, Luigi plays the level for you in it. So that's nice. It's nice to have a platforming game that's not incredibly patronizing. Now here's the question though, does it still have pity masks? Because in a way, Crash was like the progenitor of the games taking pity on you after you die too much. Down, we go up, we go down, we go up, we jump. Hey! That was too bad. I don't know what you guys were complaining about. It's, it's so bizarre to hear Richard Horvitz. Oh, wait, that didn't. Okay, because it didn't go off while it was active, it didn't activate the other TNT. I was gonna be super pro. I could be, if I wanted every one of those Wumpa, that's how you might have to do it. Get them all? I, I didn't see, actually.
Oops! Okay, that's actually fine. I... It's, a, it's a super Wumpa. This is our opposition, this game. I think I like the robot scientist men better. This is this a hidden gem area? Well, it's a hidden area of some kind. was a bizarre trajectory that that activated the Aku Aku crate. Well, I got all the Wumpa I need, at least. So that was just a detour for crates. a blue gem platform. That will not be accessible yet. Man! It's right before a checkpoint, too. Alright, well, there's nothing on that path, so I just have to take this path. No branching, no backpacking. No backtracking. Small favors. I believe I'm still having trouble telling where I'm going to land, even with the shadow indicator. I don't usually have trouble with depth like this in a crash game. I think maybe it's seeing the thing like, moving along walls that's getting to me. Like, I see it at all, and I think, oh, I'm, I must be over land because I see the yellow circle. Like that, you see it moving with me in the air. found it. That's the important thing. Okay, so 
teleporting into the bounce crates does not get you the full Wumpa amount from them. Although it seems to be you need... It's pretty generous with the Wumpa amounts thus far. Like, I only need to get... Oh, I'm still missing some? Wow. Hmm. All that, and I still miss some crates. That was a vaguely Fortnite-ish dance. There's a replay option. So it's not like you have to collect all of the boxes twice. There are just different gem goals per level. Crash compactor. Bear bones. What? Rude awakening. I got chicken crash. How did I get this? Okay. We'll try bone cocoa, I guess. I can get a rocket head cocoa. Yeah, there's, I guess there's Engine Crash and Engine Coco. Flashback tape. Okay. But what is that? And Jin, shut up. I'm trying to figure out what the tape I just found was. Also, I, pro I will probably not use the bone skin after this level. It's cool. But we, you, lo you miss out on the, on the face animations when you're using it. Looks like a, a Nightmare Before Christmas character. What's in here? I can't see in there. Is there a hidden gem? Oh, you can't, you can't hide boxes and things in there where I can't see them. I guess, well, I guess I got everything in there. I'm just gonna have to assume because I can't see in there. a side-scrolling level with moving mechanisms gives me Stormy Ascent flashbacks. Oh, she's got a Bone Angel!
That's the most power metal thing I've ever heard of I've ever seen is a, a skeleton angel Like just a skeleton that's just metal you make it an angel and then you got power metal I think there's a difference between things being well hidden and things being unfair. I would count this as unfair. Because there's no way to tell if you've gotten everything other than just like flailing around and hoping. Uh oh! trying to, uh, I've been building my music library and adding a bunch of, uh, modern music because the kids on the bus all get sick of 80s rock. And it just, I just lose my motivation after a while. I, I get sick of my modern pop music. Oh boy, which way am I going? Oh, it's just, okay, it's just this one crate. Well, hmm. I could, in theory, go further south. Does it expect me to do a blind jump, is the question. I would say a blind jump would be bad game design. Okay, good. Check for good game design. Minus one life. I was also in the middle of getting a bunch of Dragon Force, though, and I'm not too keen on that. I have trouble with post-ZP Thirt. Thirt? Dragon Force. The new singer. He just it doesn't really do it for me. I mean, new. It's been, like, ten years now, but... Is this can it can I go on that that is read it out so I assume I can't go on it I cannot go on that is that a death platform do I need to get here without dying I guess I'll worry about it later At least this is a this is a short rail section. <sighs> okay, jump, then left. I have not heard Blind Guardian. Oh, wait, hold on. I see a thing. Hello, you sneaky. What did that activate? I guess I'll find out later. Ow. 
Ow. Well, the joke's on you. You can't make a skeleton bleed. Oh, and he can hit me on the swing back? what the thing opened. I assume. Well, what's over here? There's more stuff. Is that it? Okay. I guess that's it. <gasps> okay. I'm fine. We're good. Boy, a checkpoint would be lovely right about now. Will this do? Uh, Twenty four. Oh, it's but one of these. Prompto checkpoint. I'll take it. Whoops. A little high. that. That's what I should do. That's a better idea than waiting on the sides. Anything else? Just the one. Alright. There's a name for that Super Wumpa. If this game were released 20 years ago, it would have a manual that would tell us. Alright. 24 out of 24. Here first, always a good idea. Well, that one doesn't send him very high. Doesn't send the box very high. Here we go. We got phasing, and I see you over there. Uh, you gotta keep an eye out, that's all you gotta do.
Hello, muffin. Is that muff from Wickersham, or is, that, is this is this a different muff? Is this a new muff? Is there another one way up here? No, that's just the, the, the map ceiling. Oh, it's Sandy. Hello, Sandy. Have you played this game, or do you intend to? Not get up on the tire sh a shelf. It looked like maybe I could. Oh boy. Well, how do I get up there? I want. I want to get the box. How do I get the box? That's not how. That's how you die in a wall. That's how you telefrag yourself, spelunky style. Or spikes. I could not jump that high, but maybe. Aha! I got your number, game. I gotta get up there again. And die. Bouncing things remind me of uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Still missing some. I'm not doing great with these uh, these uh, crate collections. I might have to do some of these crate goals off stream. Flashback tape. What is that? I still I still don't know what that is. to beat this fucking level. Flashback tapes. Rewind time back to the 90s. Experience Crash and Coco's training in Neocortex's ch test chambers. Okay. I'll change off of uh, Skeletal Coco. What is, what is that? Oh, beat the game to get Bandage Coco. Brain damage, Coco. I'll give Skeleton Crash a try. I haven't played as him yet. Ninety percent crates, all crates. But there's there's a thing you get just for getting ninety percent of the crates. That suggests it'll be very difficult to get all the crates on these levels. Experiment log. Bandicoot subject trial number one. There's 
even like old-fashioned Crash Bandicoot music to go with this. No! Uh, yes! The crates are meant to be broken! They weren't placed as an impenetrable barrier! <laughs> I'll redesign the other tests. Yeah, this is even this is old crash music. I don't remember which I think this is Crash 2 music, isn't it? Okay, so that's all this is. Missed one. Well, this is fun, but it's probably tedious to watch on stream. Oh man, I hope they don't hide any dick crates in these. Dick move to get to the end of this and be missing one crate. I can't tell from this distance which ones are the are the ones you have to jump on ten times. I guess they're kind of apparent, the ones that have like two Wolpa fruits on them. Man, what sick experiments was Cortex doing that Crash was going through these tests as, a, as an animated skeleton? So Darian, have you watched other, uh, other streamers or YouTubers play this game yet? kissy noise. Oh, Crash looks weird as, as a skeleton because of how much his mouth opens. Super 80s slash 90s crash. Brain damage crash. Pirate crash? I don't know, platinum flashback relics. What's a flashback relic? Pirate cop Coco. Is that like a... That's not like a... That's, that's not like an SS skin. Wait, hold on. What's what's the, what's a flashback relic? Is that? I guess that's what those are. Those little badges. I wonder how long this game is. How many levels there are? It's not like you can tell immediately from the start of the game, like the like, and you couldn't crash three because it was five warp rooms with five levels each. You have, a, you have a computer now, so you could, Well, I guess you had a PS4. Is this on PS4 or is this only on PS5? No, this is on PS4. So you'd be able to get the PS4 or the uh, Blizzard version PC if you wanted.
You're gonna have insane trilogy on the PS4, right? This looks this looks trials as hell. Like the motorcycle game. I haven't streamed one of those in a while. I have a few of them, and I just haven't done any more streams in them. I like those games, the trials games. That's one of my favorite series that I barely play. really curious about is how many uh, how many gimmick levels there are in this game. I am grateful that so far these have all been platforming levels. That's nice. That that's very refreshing after Crash 3 and Wrath of Cortex. Although, again, unpopular opinion. I actually like the gimmick levels in Wrath of Cortex more than in Crash 3. I think overall I like Wrath of Cortex more than Crash 3. Spicy take. fire. That's what that is. I was wondering, what are those yellow circles? On average, this game takes eight hours to beat if you're just going through story levels. Now, is that... Eight hours for a competent Crash player, or eight hours for a Crash is the Dark Souls of Platformers player? Is it just... Isn't that a flashback tape? Well, it's just sitting there. How come I can't grab it? Okay. Do I have to hit, like, uh, maybe an exclamation crate to activate it? I think because... Like scouring levels for crates over and over and over again on stream wouldn't be very fun to watch. I think I'm going to, uh, I'm probably going to do the, the, like, all crates gems off stream and the stuff like getting through without dying three times. Things like that, where it would require me to just go through a level we've already seen again. Potentially multiple times. Uh, Darian, what do you think? Should I do the time trials on stream? You mentioned you'd like to watch those. I keep doing exactly the same sequence of events. Let's try to not suck this time. There we go.
19 out of 19. I'll plan to do the... I'll plan to make a... You know, the old college try on every level at least once on stream. I'll do all the flashback trials on stream. And I'll do the time trials on stream. I think will be my plan. Okay, I'll just eat that, I suppose. This stupid ceiling. Alright, I'm fine. I'll just beat up Mad Max and grab a checkpoint. I don't like how, like, how hard it's trying to be comical, this game. It doesn't kill the game. It's just, it's not as endearing as I think they intended it to be, to me. Because again, the humor of Crash in the original trilogy was mostly the way he carried himself and all he did without speaking. So if it's all characters having dialogue with one another, that's just not quite the same spirit of the uh, original Crash. Imagine if the rope swing mechanics were like Crash of the Titans. What were they like in Crash of the Titans? I don't remember. I have already bleached that game from my mind. I remember f completely failing to understand how ropes worked in Crash GBA. What what am I what am I failing to understand? Okay, it worked that time for some reason. It's so obviously Invader Zim. My favorite part of platforming games is waiting for platforms. Can't be beat, no sir! Oh boy. Uh. Can I do anything with this? I can. Okay. Now if I hit the if I hit the destroy all nitros thing. Will that destroy the crate which is adjacent to the nitro? I think it would, but I don't trust it. They can't expect me to spin this, though. Can they? No, they wouldn't do that. Why? I just wrong, wrong everything. Lose almost mom all momentum when you double jumped. You struggle to even get to the vines. I remember that now. That did happen. Although I didn't ascertain how much of it was... Uh, I'm not positive how much of it was my controls and how much of it was the game.
I kind of wish the levels weren't as long as they are. It's much more tolerable to have to collect everything in a level. If the level is not, like, absolutely massive. Okay, we ballin'. Look at Coco, she ballin'. But why is she ballin'? She could have just run. Why run in ball when not have to? Whatever. <laughs> With the speed didgeridoo. It's the power metal didgeridoo. What was I saying? Uh, th that's that's what made the like the snow levels in Crash 2 such a pain is that they were such massive long levels with 150, 160 crates on them. It made for so many opportunities to miss them just because there were so many. Man! I'm gonna be getting all these box crates off stream. These, uh, yeah, these box crates. These crate gems off stream. I'm gonna come back next time, have a whole bunch of skins to use. Actually, I don't know what, uh, if Jack is off either Saturday or Sunday, so we might be back to this this weekend. We got a boss. Stage dive. I never figured out how to get that, uh, that tape that was just floating there. So I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get a new mask per world, and each world is gonna kind of focus on whatever that mask's power all is. All right, all you bloodthirsty lunatics, put your freaky little hands together for Rocket Head. Together. One, two, one, two, three, four. Prepare for a beating, baby. I just die immediately. Well, you know his other robots looked so nice. What's he what's he doing making garbage bots now? It's like it's the guitar hero stage. It's got like the little zombie hands. I'm gonna restart because I might as well get my three deaths thing, potentially. It's extra redundant on to make the player do this on boss levels because well you start from the beginning of the boss every time. I assume. I assume the boss doesn't have checkpoints. Not my go to genre, Mr. Jin. Ah! What is he firing? Sound waves? Okay, there are, in fact, checkpoints after each uh, damage phase. Well, that's very forgiving for a boss. This 
fundamentally similar to the Crash 1 Cortex fight. Dodge projectiles until you get that one projectile you can hit back. It's that Cortex fight mixed with Guitar Hero. It's got, like, the stage and everything. I guess it's an interesting deviation from the usual engine fight. You can make a whole game out of this if you really wanted to. Rhythm game plus platforming. I mean, they already make rhythm games out of other, uh, other kind of game styles, like Audio Surf. Oh, now I have to actual platform. Now it's Frogger. This is an extremely ambitious first boss. I can appreciate that. Remember when, uh, remember when the Crash 1 bo first boss was, uh, jump on fat guy three times? Oh. Crash is still in whatever skin you previously used. Does Richard Horvitz have, have other voice roles where he is not Invader Zim? Like, is this his one voice that he's ever done in anything ever? There we go in the pirate world now. That crash back to normal so we can see his face animations. Salty Wharf 1717 Booty Calls! Yeah, we got Pirate Crash. We gotta unlock that one. Magic decks recently. Uh oh. I gotta check. Nope. Check for good game design. No blind jumps required. Crash 1 had had at least one of those jumps. Well, kinda. You had to walk backwards a little bit on one of the bridge levels, and then some planks would appear. So you knew there was something there, at the very least. I've been making some magic decks recently, since Jack has been playing a lot of Arena. So we'll probably, uh, probably do a stream of that. 
in the near future, next time me and Jack have a chance to stream. Employ some unfair bullshit to make him mad at how I build decks. I should have jumped on top of those. There's entirely possible there's something up at the very top there. No, jump on top of it. There we go. Is that one level in Crash 1 lights out? You had to jump backwards. Yeah, but you had platforms to jump on. You didn't have to jump blindly into a into an abyss. Is what I mean. Donkey Kong Country 1 had lots of that. Like, I don't mind a lot of the stuff in this game because you can see what's there if you're paying attention. I have a problem with it if you just, you can't see it at all. You just have to blindly guess. Because at that point in game design, you're just having to throw lives away over and over again in order to try to collect everything. And that's no bueno. Okay, there's a spin. You got a full range of motions in this game. You can do the slide, double jump, and still, uh, still body slam. You couldn't do that in the old Crash games. Ah! You, you don't have time to react on these rails. You just gotta memorize the entire layout of the rail and do it all in one go. Which makes me wish there was a checkpoint right here. Spin! Right before the rail would be nice. Oh, what was I doing? I thought there was another rail to jump to. Sorry, rope. It's just a very greasy rope that she can somehow slide on. Enemies kind of... Enemies have a homing property in this game. Like, they go way out of their way to uh, hit nearby crates. doing so well. It doesn't help that the crates are brown like the rope and everything would. They really don't stand out, and you need them to stand out in order to see them in a fast-paced situation like this. Yeah, You know, I'm going through all this trouble to make sure I get every single one, and I'm still probably going to be missing some at the end of the level. I haven't gotten an all boxes gem in forever. I missed it again. It hides behind the rope, that one.
too early. Ah. Just put the checkpoint right before the rope. Please? Pretty please? I'm gonna make that the number two. Minus point for bad game design. The checkpoint not being immediately before this section. I forget what the first one was earlier. There was one other thing that was like, uh, no, don't do that. Oh, it was the, it was the building you couldn't see inside. That was no bueno. Coco's still being voiced by Jimmy Neutron. I don't know why it would, have, it would have changed, I guess. I also wish it told me what exactly I needed to uh, get those flashback tapes, because they're just floating there. And I don't know what I need to do to make them not... to make them gettable. My best assumption at present is that it's it's like the death platforms. I just need to get to them without dying. Okay, I'm gonna go left. Up, down, up, down, left, up, jump. Uh, I did it. Hmm. Nani? What that big I saw a big pile of crates like off to the side while I was on the rails. I assumed that was a later point of the in the level that I would eventually get to. Cause I can't like jump off the rails part way, right? Okay, so it's an easy route. A hard route. Easy route has crates. Does this have its own special gem, I wonder? I shouldn't have done that. I should have avoided activating that TNT. I got all the crates, I guess. Previous crash games, I felt reasonably assured that if I was really thorough, I'd get to the end and have all the gems in the level. In this one, I just feel like it's pointless. I'm gonna be as thorough as I can possibly be, and I'm still gonna get to the end and be missing a bunch of them. Just, I can. So what's, what's even the point of taking the hard route? I can just go up there. Damage boost, I guess. Can I get... 
get up there. Maybe if I time it with a nitro bounce. I don't think that's the intended method. Might be possible, though. Maybe not. All right. Ah. Uh. Okay. How am I gonna get that fella over there? I see how. All right. These aren't going to sink, are they? They don't appear to. I see you, Mr. Platform on the right. These guys seems like not seem like non-threats. These Mojo the Dragon fellas. No, it wasn't Mojo, it was uh, Mushu. That was the Mulan Dragon! Blech. Why don't I just jump down from here? That seems a whole lot easier. It seems potentially easier. wasn't particularly hidden, but I'll take it. These are some talented rats, by the way. Rolling around on a stack on top of a floating barrel. This is an area with many Many options for traversing. Many ways to jump and move. Now, I see a thing over there, but I don't know if I can walk there. I guess I'll go for it. Nope. It was a floating piece of wood. Not a traversable one.
we found the booty. Please? Hey, we finally got one! That's our first five out of six since, like, World 1. I could replay it for the less than three deaths. It wouldn't take that long, but I'll just, I'll, I'll just do it off stream. Like I said, we'll come back next time. We'll have a bunch of skins to try out. Uh, Darian. If you're still there, would you be willing to look up for me how to get the flashback tapes? Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. So, Tana is in this game with a dramatic redesign. I'm assuming you get to them without dying, but that's still me assuming. Kick. She. She, uh. Drop. Stomp. She's fundamentally similar. Crash and Coco. Also, she has a hook shot. Wait, but how do I get out there? ZR. Okay. Gameplay controls. What do I have set to ZR? Because, again, I'm using a GameCube controller, so the Z is a good button for the HUD. Can't die once during a level. Okay, so it's like I thought. It's like the, the death platforms. I'm also going to grab a drink real quick, because I realize I don't have one near me. Let's try this now. Okay, so I can stun. I didn't get all of them. Wait, let me back up. I need to get the other ones. I need Let me over there. Why are you stopping me from jumping? She also has a wall jump. Dead. 
She doesn't have the slide. Like Crash and Coco. one shot at these. You know what? I have a way to, to assist. There we go. That'll make it a little safer. wasn't very hidden. Well, I can't grab the hook. I guess I don't know who else this could have been, except Tana. It's not like the Bandicoots really have a whole lot of allies. I guess there's Crunch if you wanted to reintroduce him into the canon. I know there were comparisons made to, uh, like, this is the Nina, the Nina Cortex replacement because Nina also had a grappling hook. We don't need to introduce that character. She doesn't need to exist. Ah, uh, okay. I guess I die from falling onto rubble. Wonder if they got the original composers back for this game. Was there more than one? I thought it was just, uh... Was it Mark Mothersburg? I know he was involved with the Crash music. It was the drummer from The Police did Spyro, and Mark Mothersburg from Devo was involved in Crash. Mothersburg or mother, Mother's Bomb? Mother something. The Smothers Brothers. Mother Smothers. Smother Mother. Mist. Walter Mayer and his only other game is Call of Duty Mobile. I haven't really, uh, I haven't really noticed any of the music thus far, either positively or negatively. It's just, but it's been there. It's done its job. It's background music. Vague Octodad noises.
now I can't now I can't talk much for these streams because I gotta really focus to be sure I'm not missing something. Focus. Oh, even that! Wow, they can't even be undone by a grappling hook. These rats are amazing. Vaguely Pirates of the Caribbean rock. To be honest, the slam doesn't have a whole lot of use other than breaking those crates. This is what just pressing circle does, right? She just jumps. She doesn't have a crouch or a slide. I needed to get that from here. It occurred to me just too late. Yeah, I'm not I'm not crazy about it. I I get the desire to have, you know, strong independent female character and all that. I don't mind that. It's just it's too much of a departure from the existing character. It's just, it's not her anymore. Oh no, get, get, stay over there. Like, if this was a brand new character... I mean, even then people would complain about it being, like, shoehorned in, but... I think they still could have done something like this with Tana and made her playable and, you know, badass without being quite as much a departure from the, her original. But it's it's nitpicking. It's, it's not a big deal. Eyes on target. The last one. There it is. I see it. Got it. There's a five out of six. I'll take it. Thank you so much. Wait. Tana? But you're... different. You're not from our universe. It's good to see you guys. It's been a long time for me. We lost touch in your universe too, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, you could It's an alternate that. universe, Tana. <laughs> what, did we like, die or something? What? No! Nope. No, but no, definitely not. So how are things in your dimension? <clears throat> the usual. A bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination. Huh. So, uh, what you collecting? Crystals? Mm -mm. Gems? Masks. Ooh, fun. Well, good luck with that. <gasps> Wait, you're not coming? Sorry, I fly solo. 
but I'll, I'll lend a hand where I can. In fact, I already have. Is that that how we? That's how we make the new Tana. Our our Tana ran off with Pinstripe. This is alternate dimension Mad Max Tana. All right, I I can buy that. There's at least there's a narrative explanation for her being so starkly different. I can accept that. We had Evil Crash and Evil Coco, and then we have uh, Tana and Adventurer Tana. Tana timelines. Oh, okay. So she's got her own full set of levels. Are there Tana skins? There are not. What? What is that? Is that Rocket Head? Yeah, that's Rocket Head. We already knew about that one. Hazardous waste. Truck stopped. Is that a Coco? Yeah, that's a Coco skin. All right, we can unlock Elvira Coco. The original Tana was in Nitro Field, wasn't she? Granted, everyone and their grandmother from the Crash universe was in Nitro Field. A fucking crate was playable as a racer in Nitro Field. Okay, this place rules. Oh look, this Tana likes Mad Max first. I'll get the crate. Come on. There you go. Oh! You touch it, you die. And even this is only, uh, this is more or less just Crash with a hook shot. It's not a huge departure from the, from the format of the platforming levels. Like, like, she can't aim for the nitros. She refuses to hit the nitros. Here. No! There we go. I guess they could have made her personality worse, but they would know better than to do that. Like, you gotta have your, your main characters likable, at least. There's probably an achievement for killing all those crabs or something. It's just Crash or Coco, but with a hook shot and wall jumping. Not a lot of games that let you use the hookshot as a weapon, so that's kind of nice. Oh, 
Oh, and there's crates back here, too. It's not just a hidden gem. That's sneaky. Ah. Oh. Do you think this Tana still tried dating Pinstripe? Evil, evil Crash was like feral. And there was an evil Coco in like the plans for Twin Sanity that never came to fruition. And she was like, uh... She was like mean-spirited goth, right? That was e Evil Coco's persona. I looked up who the voice of Entropy was. It's Boss Baby. Who, who voices Boss Baby? I assume that would be a reasonably big-name actor, if that were the case. Hey, Carlac. Carlac. Carliac? Carlicker. I, I don't know. Yeah, I've never heard of him. Sounds a little bit Spyro-ish with the drum line. Man, are you serious? Maybe if I can jump on the fence, maybe I can cheese it. Get up there. Come on. No? Invisible wall? Man. Well, that's not good. All right, in we go. Also the voice of Naysaya in Star Versus. I have watched Star Versus and I have I have no recollection of who that character is. get and play is uh, nitro fueled. I guess it mainly comes down to A, my interest in playing Crash Team Racing again. And B, what platforms it's on, because that is another one that I was waiting for on Steam. But now I'm not expecting it, because this wasn't on Steam. And I believe this came out before Nitro Fueled. How am I gonna get that crate? It doesn't let me hookshot it. Maybe I can get a checkpoint. Maybe there's a checkpoint near that. Okay. 
I don't like how inaccurate this hook shot is. It's like it's not made to target nitros. It doesn't want to target those. Wait, is that her arm? She's not firing her arm, is she? No, it's like coming out of her, her wrist. She's reeling her elbow back. I want to get them, though, because I'm, I'm wary. Just in case there's not going to be a nitro detonator on this level. possibly expect this. There's got to be a, a detonator later. I will put my faith in the game design that they would not make the nitro crates untargetable and not include a detonator. There must be a detonator. There's a checkpoint. There was one right there. Uh, can I just jump to it, maybe? I can't. Why would they just not let me hookshot it, though? It looked so very hookshotable. The Echidna. He, he plays the buzzsaw like a guitar. This world is so Mad Max it hurts. Where's the activator switch? There it is. Somehow survived that. Not gonna question it. I take those. I guess it would make sense for these to be a little bit harder than the the Crash and Coco levels, since they are optional! Please. Please target the crate. Tana, it's right there. Target the crate. Shoot at it. You're so fucking close, Tana. Mostly with this character now, I'm curious if they're going to continue this Tana into the future or if this is just like a one-game thing because of this alternate universe thing they're doing. Oh. 
Get it. And now we take over as Coco again. But we did this already. Like, that that was the explanation to when this happened in this level. Now I gotta do the, le the rest of the levels Coco? I'm so confused. Ninety-three. These these crate totals in this game. I guess I just assumed the th the Tana thing would be its own totally self-contained level because I would have to get like all the all the crates on that and such. I guess this is a new version of this. Like this isn't the same sequence of the bulldozer chase from the first time. And I still miss crates. Uh, after all that. Flashback tapes. Oh, it's just another convenience warp to the same collection of, uh, oh. Well, it would have told me right there if I just scrolled over. Jetboard Jetty. Oh boy. What, what is that? I can't see what that, that Coco has her hair in like a bun? We got vehicle levels. Is this the vehicle mask? Am I gonna hate this guy? This is the mask that goes inside jet skis and motorcycles and in, is in all of the worst levels. Fire crates weren't in any previous crash game, were they? They're new to this? I'm trying to remember if they were in any of the... They were like in Wrath of the Titans. Or, yeah, Wrath of the Titans. That was a crash game. In any of the previous games. We've got rat anchors. Or rankers.
Not to be confused with dog anchors or dankers. Particularly Snoop Dogg on anchor would be a danker. Oh. Oh, this is like the Crash 2 one. Okay, I'm totally okay with this. This is fine. As long as it's not the stupid jet ski or motorcycle. The Crash 2 vehicle. I guess it was just this. This and the polar bear are so much better than Crash 3 vehicles. I-M-O. Pura, I didn't mind. Pura, the... Tiger levels. Pure the Tiger were my favorite Crash 3 levels. Boy, I miss a lot of these potential fruit to these TNTs. How long has this game been out now? I was going to say, if there's ever any DLC for this game, I should have jumped on top of that. You know what? I'm going to eat the loss. If there's ever, ever any DLC for this game, like extra worlds or challenge levels or something, I hope they make them shorter. I hope they make them much shorter. Because that's my main complaint this, with this game, is just the size of the levels. They don't need to be this long, there's just too much, too many opportunities to miss stuff. September 2020. Alright, so less than a year. <laughs> I'm fine. We're good. Hidden gem and all. Wait, are you talking about, like, the original release or this version specifically? Because the original came out earlier than that, didn't it? Like, it released on PS4 first, and it was, like, six months or a year exclusive. I thought. It only just recently released on Switch. I guess it's been almost a year. Well, no, it's... I, I, I just had to check what month it was. It's April 2021. So definitely not almost a year. Oh, those are what gem platforms look like. Original release. That was a short exclusive window. Compared to previous games.
Oh, she got boned. Fish boned. I know the joke you're thinking of. Don't make it. Boy, if I could unlock just, like, a single new skin this stream. I don't think I will, though. Actually, I did unlock one from the... I unlocked one from the... Flashback trial, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. We started with the skeletal ones, which I'm guessing is like a Switch version thing. those first. I'm gonna have to get them every time I die. Okay, these guys are back. And they can pursue. And they have the goofy yell. I'm glad to see this make a comeback. I like this vehicle. It doesn't control the best, but... A rocket-propelled piece of wood still controls better than the vehicles in Crash 3. I wonder what the proper name for this thing is. I guess they just called the Jetboard, like in the level title. Should have jumped on top of those just in case. Oh well. What is this? We got an arena? We got a boss. Louise, the anglerfish. The rats cannot damage Louise. Lois. What did I... Oh, there's more rats now. I don't think Crash has ever had a mini-boss before, has it? Not in the original trilogy, at least. So if what I'm doing is correct and I need to get the thing to slam into the rats, then this is quite difficult. That, how come that didn't count as a hit? Okay, no, they they can they can fly into it. I thought I tried that like the first time and it didn't work. 
Yeah, that was the first thing I tried. I guess I just, I got a, a finicky hit. right into the tentacle. How many how many crates am I at? Still missing 22. Hopefully there are 22 nitro crates. I wonder who's sending these these rat fellas. It's not Cortex, is it? Well, I guess, I guess it is. I guess it's Cortex and uh, Engine. At some point, like in the original trilogy, Cortex used pretty much exclusively cyborg animals. And then after a point, they kind of they just retconned it, and now it's just mutants like Crash. It's just mutant pirate rats who happen to be working for Cortex and company. Wow, not even close. Still 14 short. Got a flash tap. Yeah, flash tap. A flashback tape at least. Dark matter himself. A careful crash. He's heavier than me. Oh, good. You're awake. All right. Two masks down. Two to go. Feeling a little less panicked. I, I was at a 10 before. Now I'm at a solid, let's say, 9.78. Oh, yeah. These bandicoots are here to help. Bandicoot. Follow. Short and to the point. Love this guy. <laughs> so we've got the cone and we've got the Chad, are the two masks. And we're going to Asia land. First, check this out. Hey, you just gotta get all the crates. These, these are nice, nice and simple flashback tapes. I, I like, I see, think I'll like these levels. These are like the, uh, they're like the Cortex games. If he survives my trials of wit and strength. He'll be promoted to general of my army. You mean, you'll brainwash him, master. Tomato, potato. This is Crash 1 music. Found it all. What is, this was the temple. So, uh, cannot... Cannot jump on top of those. Lesson learned. Ooh, that's tight. Keith Silverstein is in this game. Who does he, who does he play? Keith Silverstein, the voice of Simon Belmont in Smash Brothers. And 
and also the bad guy in Miraculous Ladybug that me and Jack are currently watching. Oh, that, that is way easier than trying to go under them. What we don't know is that Crash actually had, like, 20 siblings. And he was just the last one. He was the one who made it through all this. Oh boy, what are we doing? Uh, okay. I get under those. Three, four, five. Alright, so far so good. You have a very short amount of time to take everything in on these levels. see things up there. How do I get to those things? Hmm. That's not how. That's not how either. I didn't even notice the date at the bottom. Saying. These are like the Cortex minigame levels in uh, Crash 1. Oh, it's so even got the monitors. Back when Cortex was actually competent and kind of creepy and not a complete joke of a character. How am I going to get up there? Can I... Aha! Not like that! I see the nitro detonation. I, I can get to it, and I can blow them up, and then I can come back. I also don't need to worry about the fruit in this, because there's no gem for getting so many fruit. So I can just let TNT blow stuff up if I want to. It truly is the old days of Crash. this before I guess I, sh I guess I should get these crates first I don't like going under these nitros like this Hello, mighty. I can't even do the basic jump. All right. Should have done a thing where Lex Lang Cortex meets Clancy Brown Cortex. Clancy Brown, Clancy Brown voice Cortex. Was Clancy Brown Cortex in the original games, or in like uh, Crash Two? Ooh, 
Lex does a good job with what he's given. I, I do like the original Cortex a little bit more. I didn't know it was Clancy Brown if that was him, though. Him, though. Clancy Brown being the voice of Mr. Krabs. Also a film actor. And the voice of, uh... He was the... I don't remember his name. He was the agent in Jackie Chan Adventures was Clancy Brown. Man! I do the hard part, and I just die because of that one jump. I do like these levels, though. I think these are my favorite part of the game so far. Yeah, yeah, I'm a nostalgia pandering, I know, but... You know what it is? It's their short. They're short, sweet, like, parkour challenge levels. Not giant collect-everything gauntlets. Which, I like collect-everything, and I like gauntlets, just smaller. Not 200 crates in a level sized. That was kind of an issue with Spyro 3 as well, is that the levels got to be so massive and had so many parts that it would become very difficult to collect all of the, uh... <sighs> he was in Crash 2 up to Nitro Kart. Okay, so yeah, that is the original Cortex. Neat! I'll have to tell Jack. I did not realize that was Clancy Brown. It would have been nice if they'd gotten, like, an old Eggman voice actor back for the two Eggmans meeting in uh, Sonic Generations. I don't remember who the, what the name of the guy was before Mike Pollock. Actually, I think the previous Eggman VA died. Don't quote me on that. I like Pollock, but I, I liked the... I liked the gen the Sonic Adventure 2 Eggman the best. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with that big string of crates beforehand. I'm just gonna go straight for the, the detonator. Because again, I don't need all the Wumpas for this. burned into your brain yet? As if it wasn't secure enough in there after Crash 1. Okay. Let's try this time. It's just the one part that always catches you has to be at the end of the level. Invariably. You have to do all the tedious stuff that you can do every time. Every time before you get one attempt at the one hard part. Maybe if I just slide, if I don't jump at all, maybe that'll be the right distance.
it's not even keeping track of my fruit for this. I can't raise my, uh, I can't open my HUD. Okay, just, just gonna slide. Nope! Too far. Okay, maybe if I slide from the top crates. I'm trying to get to the left where the detonator is at. Why did I why did I do that? I just made a boo-boo. Okay, I'm fine. Deem Bristow. Okay, yeah, that is, that is the one I'm th I think I'm thinking of. No way! I don't believe this. <gasps> okay. Ah! There was a third Eggman voice actor who voiced him in the like the cartoon shows. Oh, finally! Ah, uh, okay, okay. That's not that's not a wooden arrow crate. I don't need to break that one. I was scared for a minute. I thought I'd screwed myself. I did it. Fuck that last part, that stupid jump. Long John Baldry and Jim Cummings. I guess it was Jim Cummings. He was the he was the promotion. I forgot that. Tranquility Falls. We we have cat face crash. Believe it. Let's see how long this world takes us. I might see if I can get through these levels before I stop. We're at three hours, but I can I, I can give I can give Crash some extra time. I'll spend a while on Crash Four streams. So where's the next mask? Not here. If these chuckle nuts weren't punching holes in reality, we could open our own. Chuckle nuts? Uh, for now, we're stuck taking the long A character route. in a Crash Bandicoot game just said chuckle nuts. <laughs> Friends, I have a fun little game for you to play. I've got a reward for the clever Bandicoots who can reach my testing grounds. But you'll have to defeat my deadly diabolical creations along the way. <laughs> How, how does he teleport with those? That's impressive. That shouldn't be scientifically possible. All right, what do you do? Uh, okay, berserker mode. It's the knuckles mask. He's strong. What does she look like? Can I get a close- I can't get a close-up. The camera won't let me. 
Okay, so this is our super spin equivalent. You just, you kind of float a little bit in the air. It's not, it's not huge. So this is a level that's going to have a ton of crates because there, you have such a destructive ability available. Why did I... I released it. I don't know why I released it. There was an infinite spin in Tag Team Racing. Did I do that and, I, and already forget? That's another game I barely remember. I keep... You know what's happening? Because I now equate it with the, the super spin which you do by continuously mashing the spin button. I keep mashing the the mask ability button. Which I don't need to do. I just need to press it once. And pressing it a second time disables the mask. One press. One and done. Dark Matter spin, then double jump. Oh. So I can jump while spinning. Interesting. You get like a floaty Luigi jump with the spin. Boing. We, we Beyblades now. Dark Matter Spin detonates TNT. So it's just they just have conversations with you throughout every world. Hello. I'm wary, like they're gonna hide a TNT at the bottom or something. No, they didn't do that. Thankfully, they didn't do that. Oh, I lost it. My mask is gone. Where'd he go? They just pick arbitrary locations to abandon you at. Crash one river flashbacks. This dimension was quite peaceful when I arrived. But unfortunately, my potions had some murderous effects on the inhabitants. Uh, all the better to test you with. <laughs> I like the aesthetic of the Crash One River levels. Like the really dark water is something you don't really see in uh, video games. Even though it's kind of more realistic to what rivers look like. Wait, is she just only her feet spin? Interesting. So there's now a different animation for a stationary spin. It tells you that it only hits low crates. But if you're moving, you get the high animation spin. Well, what's up here? Maybe there's more stuff I want to I want to do. Oops. Maybe not. She does like, uh. Woohoo! I guess that's just a double drum.
Oh, whoops. I don't think I did that right. Magic now. Uh oh! It deflects green magic. Green magic deflects it. get this. I guess we won't get them. A little close. Those are foo dogs. Should I know what that is? What are foo dogs? Is that a Neopet? Pets, purportedly coming to Switch. I don't know how that would work, given that it is a website and not a game. Can't wait to see uh, the Neopets in Smash, though. I got a Mirka or a Shoryu. I know they're food dogs because my uncle insisted I draw him one. Is that like the proper name for those stone guardian statues or something? But I pressed the thing. How come no spin? actually have one of those in Battleground. For no discernible reason, there's just a property on Main Street, out on the edge of town. With no buildings, it's just a big field of grass with one of those guardian statues on the roadside. I don't know why it's there. I don't know who currently or previously owned it. Oh, it's homing on me. Oh, thank you, Restream. Uh, oh, I'm fine. We're good. And this is just the first level of this world. I guess this is at least an upgrade over the original, uh, like, super spin, I suppose. That was kind of unwieldy.
it was useful to have all the time and not just when you have a mask of it on, but... I understand the desire to make an improved version. didn't work. This will still leave me one crate short. Nah, it's way too far. I guess there's no point in me doing this because I already know I missed crates. I missed those ones that I didn't know how to activate earlier. TNT. Oh, I see, I see the path over there. Or is that just... No, that's just a shortcut. I think that's just for, like, uh... That's just for time trials, basically. Those guys, the green magic foo dogs. Definitely a challenging game. It's gonna take me a bit to get all these uh, all these gems. Gonna be a lot of work off stream. That was a mistake. <laughs> gotta do my spinny jumps. I thought I could get away with not doing them, but I gotta do them. I'm still kind of going for the Wumpa gem.
even though I will probably get it regardless just from getting the crate gem later. Still nice to have one extra gem I got on stream, I suppose. How many are we short? A lot. Yeah, it's expected. I skipped the whole bonus level, so... Now, I still didn't get the 80% Wumpas. Probably would have if I'd skip if I had not skipped the, the bonus level. Naruto Crash will have to wait till next time. length of these levels, though. <laughs> this is mask two of four. So in theory, we get through this, we're about halfway through the game? Night. Oh, it's a little, uh, it's one of those little, uh, it's one of those things from Princess Mononoke. The little tree fellows with the rattleheads, except this one's a turnip. Quasa? Oh, look at us, just like the old days. Working together against those who keep us down and humiliate us by forcing us to pick out our own birthday card and sign them. Him. I, 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 could have least paid half. I assume I can't spin the Chinese myth dragon. If I were Snorlax, I could swing it around by the tail. Alas, I am not. I am Coco Bandicoot. Uh, it's like the Great Wall levels. Minus Pura. I wonder if, I wonder if Polar or uh, Pura are in this game. Where am I hearing Boomhauer from? I heard him. I never saw him. Is that him? I think that's him. It. I just get it for that those couple jumps and then he's gone. Can I get this guy? I cannot. He's in a secret hidey hole cave that I cannot enter. There is a mystical barrier preventing me from spin attacking that gentleman.
There's kind of some loose remixes of the of the original theme. Very loose. Where's my opening? That's quite a ways to go for that tape. I thought I was going straight to the right. I wasn't. Rutabaga. Oh, if I spin him long enough, I can get him. Maybe if I spin him in like a very specific spot. Uh, maybe there was something hiding on the left. levels are going to be a nightmare for time trial, specifically because they are so long. This is going to be a lot of time trial attempts. Just getting through a super long level without dying is a challenge, let alone getting the platinum time on it. At least I don't have to worry about motorcycle and jet ski levels. It's, it's small miracles. Always a silver lining. Sometimes I think they're my only friends. And then I realize... No, that's right. Oh, this goes up. Okay. Is that, uh... What's the guy's name? I'm drawing a blank on the actor's name. He voices a uh, monkey fist in Kim Possible. He's like a, a character actor with a whole lot of roles. I'm wondering if that's uh, Embryo, because it kind of sounds like him. Ah. Tom. 
Tom Kane. I think his last name is Kane. K A N E. There we go. That's what I needed. Corey Burton is Embryo. Oh, okay. Uh-oh! It will deflect green magic. No, green magic deflects it. You could have worded that a little better. everything. And yet I was still missing a crate on this level. Roger Craig Smith. I think that was one of the that was one of the people who voiced Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog is Embryo. Oh, I see it. It wow, that one's way up there. Ah! I'm fine. We're good. Nothing to worry about. Second time I've done that. So do I start with the do I start with the mask? Yes, I do. I just haven't been noticing it. Got it. I don't know if that's how I was supposed to do that, but it worked. There we go. Boy, it sure is satisfying to get all the crates on a bonus level. 22 out of 22. Only get only to get to the end of the level and find I'm missing two crates. That could be anywhere in this massive level. Love that feeling. Gotta check. You gotta see if maybe there's something they want you to, to explore, to go back for. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. And the Wumpa Threshold. Oh, I can't go left again from here? Okay.
these stupid- Wait, huh? How'd I die from that? I touched the roof? The roof is lethal? This one. Aha! There was something. At least I'm immune to Chinese Myth Dragon while spin. Just gotta, just gotta go fast. You gotta be like Sonic. That's how you get through this before the dragons get you. Oh, that's a Wumpa. I thought it was one of the fire crates. I was waiting for it to fire. Please. What? That did nothing! There were no nitro crates left? I'm, I'm still missing four. I hate this game. Man! It's like every fucking level is cold, hard crash. I don't even get Tiger Coco. Balance. Okay, is this is this a gimmick level? Is this a mini game thing? I mean, every level's kind of had its own theme that it stuck to, but I'm wondering if this has a specific mechanic like the uh, jet board level was level three of the previous world. So only every other world has had a end boss. I mean, there was the... There was the tentacle monster, I suppose. Any guesses on your, uh, your uh, reward? I'll give you a hint. It's something you've had before. <laughs> okay. But, uh, Engine was two worlds ago. Was the pre previous, and thus far only, like whole level dedicated to the boss boss I want to like spin and move away cuz I I don't trust the I don't trust the stationary spin Maybe I can send this guy into it. No. I guess this game kind of tries to incorporate some themes of the of the like beat 'em up crash games, what with like the tiki's and spirits and such. Okay, we we have a wall run. That's new. I 
We need Naruto music for this wall running. Well, that works, I guess. That got the crate. It's like, uh... This is like Korra Spirit World stuff. These are Avatar Spirits. Or Spirited Away, same thing. Avatar uh, drew heavy influence from Miyazaki. I like this. It's not just Asia, it's like an extra stylized Asia. Which is why it reminds me of Avatar. Of course, the animated series, not the James Cameron movie. I saw something. It's just decoration. I got lucky. I'm fine. You missed one box in the water. Oh man, really? I'm gonna trust you. I'll go back. I see a uh, wall run. It'll be useful for speed running later. I don't see it. It must have been real far back. Unless I'm just blind. At the beginning of the first... At the first checkpoint. Okay, so... Too far back to backtrack is what I'm hearing. I pretty much resigned to uh, doing the crate hunting off stream for this. These levels are just too big. And doing it on stream would uh I would have I would have to look shit up. This would take like uh this would take a hundred hours trying to get every single crate live on stream. I'll just I'll go through the levels. I'll do the optional stuff like the Tauna levels and the, uh... I like the flashback levels. That was the wrong button. And I'll, uh, plan to do the time trials on stream. Maybe I can still get the 80% uh, Wumpa gem, gem, though. I'm glad it doesn't have a 100% Wumpa gem. That would be a little excessive. I remember uh, Mario 64 kept track of what the maximum number of coins you'd collected on a level was. Which, getting the maximum on every level didn't unlock anything. It was just bragging points. And also yet another potential claim in the long list of claims of how you you totally unlocked Luigi in Mario 64. Yeah, you just gotta get every coin on every level. It's easy. Kites. 
Okay. Well, I had a mask, so that worked out, I suppose. kind of lame that you can waste your uh, your Aku Aku masks on bonus levels. It was always the case in Crash. It's always been kind of lame. Alright, that is not as much of a threat as I thought it would be. I'd like to finish this level and fight Embryo before stopping the stream. That That is my goal today. Man! Stupid food dog. Get blown up. No! It is immune to explode. This, this dog is in a very undesirable position. Oh, wait. I'll give it a second. Come here. That'll do. there stuff down there? I guess there was. Do, do I want to go down here? Do I want to go up there first? I don't know which way is the right way and which way is the secret way. This seems like the normal way to go, which makes me question about that other path. I don't I don't got my mask no more. Oh boy, that'll make this harder. If at all possible. Nope, not possible. Well, hmm. I guess I screwed myself there. Wait, did... But I need the mask. Oh, wait, no, there's the wall, the wall running. Forgot about that.
We Sonic now. Why? Okay, everything's upside down. I just noticed that. Now I'm extra confused. And I killed myself. I'm, I'm trying so hard to get everything, even though we're far past the point of it mattering. Ooh, thank you for that. That was a lucky spin. Man! I think I already got the... No, I still haven't quite gotten the Wumpa number three. secret paths behind the wall. If I can crash one. Still not 80. Oh no, I got them all. That's fine. I don't need all the crates anymore at this point. Just coming to these at the worst possible times. That's okay. It's nice that the exit portal is the same as the gem pickup. There were definitely points. I remember specific in instances in previous Crash games where I would accidentally go into the exit without collecting the gem first. I'm encouraging them to put more hidden stuff. I am? Let's, let's beat up Brio to finish the stream. No, oh, thank you for the follow, Nire. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, good! You've arrived! And now for your reward! Just stay put while I test this. Oh, okay. Hold still. I thought maybe there'd be an achievement, then I remembered this is a Switch game. They don't have achievements. For science. Oh, we're doing this again. I just need to know if this is lethal. And Brio loves his uh, potion slime monsters. My gelatinous puppets, fiddlesticks. Enjoy your trip. This one has oh. extra botulinum. Wait, he can give us drugs? Who's your way to victory? No. Why? Yo, I thought this was a kid game. They're drug. They're drugging people, saying chuckle nuts. Now what we doing? Ah! 
I just, I guess I'll die. Okay. Well, can I just... I cannot just jump on him. We know this now. There we go. Okay, we we gotta play uh we gotta play Mario 64 bully. And Boing. How long can I stay up? Oh, he's not down yet. There we go. Hello, low to none. It doesn't even affect our movement or anything. It just turns the screen funny. That is the extent of the drug move. You gotta do it without landing. The whole fight, that's the plan. I'm too nimble. You can't compete with the speed. Still coming. Oh, I can't knock him off the side? There we go. All right, give me the good shit. Come on. Mm, yeah, that's the stuff. And now, for my final test, taste my reptilian wrath. Uh, my cloaca. No. Oh, okay. Coco is horrified because she knows what a cloaca is. He's just permanently like that now. He's... He's dropping gems? Replay completed levels in Embryo's backwards, brain-scrambling, bump-a-berry-fueled, inverted mode. Okay. So this was... the replay levels again that was being described. Next levels are, are the Bayou. Nolans! Classic crash unlocked. Okay. H how do you get that? Just get far enough in the game, I suppose? That's a lot more gems. Well, at least we can get six of any gem. We don't need to necessarily get uh, all six of the d normal ones. That'll make unlocking skins easier, but... Uh, okay, so there's... 
mirror drug mode. You know what? I'm gonna do one. I was, I was about to end the stream, and I probably should end the stream. But I'll do the first level inverted just to see what it is on stream. Pluck. Actually, I want to get Unicorn Cocoa, so I'll do this level. I'll have a bunch of new skins next time anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. It's a dark level. If Crash was an indie game. That was TNT. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Is this every level, or is each level, uh... Is each level, like, a different effect? Because this wasn't- this wasn't the visual effect that the Embryo boss fight used. That- that's what I was expecting to happen. If it wasn't so dark, the high contrast might actually make this easier. Each platform is definitely very distinct. I hope these levels don't expect me to get every single fruit, just because it's a different kind of fruit. Ow. Oh! Well, it's a good thing that was silhouetted. It might have been too violent to show otherwise. I like to think that Coco has, uh, has grown and learned. She no longer uh, carries her laptop around on these adventures. Okay, and the, and the bonus levels are backwards. lost. We're already four deaths, so we cannot get the the deaths gem. That's alright. I think we got all but the deaths gem the first time on this level.
Oh, great. We're do our, doing a running section. Oh, no. Man, the trip went bad. It went real bad, man. Those trumpets remind me of the uh, pirate grotto music from Thousand Year Door. the end of the level. Missed the hidden gem. Big Horn Energy. Excuse me? I thought this was a kid's game. We got Cloacta. We got... Big horn energy. We got chuckle nuts. Drugs. I just I, I now want to look at this to see if every level is the same kind of inverted or if each one is like a different kind of custom thing. So this is just what every level inverted looks like. It's just, it's indie game crash. All right. Well, that's the end of Crash 4 today. This is a long stream, we went just over four hours. I am probably, I'm gonna continue playing this on my own to get the, the extra gems, the collect stuff, the get through level without die, all that stuff. It'll give me something to play, because I haven't had a lot to play lately. And, uh, next time I'll continue the story. Maybe get through the rest of the game. Maybe just most of the game. And we'll also do the time trials and the bonus levels in the future. So I'll have that to look forward to. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you this weekend, with or without Jack. Adios.